Well, good day, YouTube. Week's over with for me. Uh, <clears throat> only had to get the uh, phlebotomy. Went down today and got that. Um, easy peasy. Uh, no problems. And uh, yesterday I had my appointment with a new primary care physician. Um, it was just to establish talk, yada yada, uh, to see, you know, where where his knowledge is. And uh, so we had we had a good chat, it lasted a good long time. And uh, and he went through a lot of stuff. Um, curious about sub stuff as well. Um, he saw some of the meds that I was on and uh, kind of got that weird monkey face look from him as well, as well, you know, like, what the hell are you talking about, you know, and uh, the meds are on track now and uh, that's a great thing and uh, we can use them for the hematomacrosis. Um, he's he's uh, you know well versed in, in that department, and uh, we talked about that, and uh, go back and see him in a month. Uh, take him a list of questions, I'm sure, that. Uh, Probably a hundred percent sure that I'm done with the other doctor, <laughs> and uh, there's just no reason for what I had to go through for that five and a half months. Just no reason at all, and that you know, just it's disappointing every day. Now I wake up thinking about that. It's just like, you know, I tell the wife, I'm like, you know, what have they all got? You know, like a football card thingy back there and they're all you know picking squares you know for five bucks a piece on when this guy's gonna die or whatever it's kind of how i started to feel actually i think i was telling my brother that that uh you know it's kind of how i was feeling you know it's just like you know need some more tests done uh Definitely need to get a biopsy. See why my liver's pissed off. Um, they're not exactly 100% sure. The hemochromatosis is there. And uh, that's a gimme. And uh, But more testing needs, needs to go on. And, you know, I do have a mild score, but... I, I don't know. Just... Just the ascites build up, having the ascites can be life-threatening in itself. And, you know, was, I was having it done every seven days. And uh, I just got off the phone um, with the radiology department and they're trying to schedule me for another hospital inland um, due to their scheduling issues and and you know, I just cut her off and it's just like, we could just make this easy, you know. Don't schedule none. Yeah. Don't schedule any peritonesis. And so, uh, she's not. And we chatted for a little bit and uh, talked about it, you know. And uh, it saves us trips to California. Most helpful. Um, one thing with the new doctor... I could pretty much get everything done right here in town um, that I need, you know, regular maintenance on, which would be uh, the phlebotomy and uh, the blood test. I mean, that's just lab, lab work. And, you know, and those are all, you know, five minutes from my house. And uh, that, that'll help a lot. You know, the five and a half months of driving down into California like we were doing, it's just crazy, you know. It'll try anybody's patience and 
and it did, you know. And uh, we made it through. Somehow we did, you know. But it was all unnecessary, you know, really it was. You know, and this doctor, he looked at our the paperwork and took in the, the binder that my wife has made up with everything, you know. <clears throat> and he looked at some of that stuff, you know. And he explained it to me, like the sulfur, you know, um, the sodium, not you know and what was going on with my medications and how it was actually causing all this I didn't know really how bad it was making this happen but they were making it happen the doctor was making this happen um, it wasn't something that my body was just doing they made it happen with the medication it's you know so I shouldn't have had I shouldn't have had none you know 22, I believe, is where I ended up at, of uh, peritonesis being done, you know, to the point where the hospitals, uh, you know, they finally asking me, you know, what's going on, you know? They got any kind of plan for you? Are you just going to die tomorrow? You know, what? You know, we've never seen patients just come in like this every seven days, and you know, we got told that a few times, so, you know, that'd make you wonder, you know. So, back to the chat, you know, went fairly good. Um, he seems to think, you know, there's other reasons as well for my liver being pissed off at me. You know, but, uh, it's pissed. <laughs> and the iron overload is still there. Um, it's coming down. And so, that would... You know, that's something that still needs to be worked on. Um, he can take over my care for that. Um, not a problem um, in his his scope of practice. He does treat people with hemochromatosis. And uh, there's not a whole lot you really can do, but uh, um, he's willing to go ahead and take me on, you know, just for that as well as being you know, my primary care, my babysitter, and uh, someone to keep track and, uh, you know, hopefully have the right answers for our questions. And it seems like we didn't get a lot of right answers. And uh, so I am going to fire the other doctor. <laughs> it, uh, really, I am. I'm done with them. And, uh, and I was pretty happy, uh, with my appointment. We haven't got a chance to talk about it a whole lot. Um, my wife's finally you know, discovered these blogs I make and she didn't really know what I was doing. And, and so she's, she's started watching those and, uh, I don't know if it'd be helpful or not, you know. It'll help her probably understand what I was going through, you know, which is the whole purpose of these. It, she would have seen them one time. She would have seen them eventually, no matter what. But uh, not that I was trying to hide anything from her, you know, but I just did it and whatever, you know. And if I died, you know she could go back and watch him. That was actually my train of thought, you know. Once I got bad enough or get bad enough, you know, I can just, in my goodbye, you know, type blog thing, yeah, I'd put that information out there for her. But uh, she's watching him, and uh, she hasn't really said a whole lot, you know. I just kind of explained to her why I, why I did it, why I'm doing them, and, you know, and I'll continue to do them, you know, I'm not cured or anything like that. Um, biopsy, that was brought up yesterday, and no, that hasn't been done, he's kind of curious on why, and, you know, that's been brought up before, you know, 
And I know that's something the wife's thought about too. It's like, you know, why hasn't anybody biopsied a chunk of his liver? He tried to do the best he could with the with the liver cat scan and and yada yada. And it, it, you know it, it is angry and it is pissed off, but uh, just not sure why it's as bad as it is. Basically, <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll get some more tests done and. Uh, I had I do have an appointment uh, next week with with the hematologist, and uh, we'll talk to him. Um, for what he's treating me for is not his normal forte in his field. He's usually more treating the cancer patients, and uh, I'm definitely not a cancer patient. But, uh, and so my new doctor, he, he can just step up, you know, and we'll hammer down, try to get the iron level down. That's crucial. Um, and it is coming down. It's going to take a while, but it is coming down. Um, see, I, not a whole lot more, uh, like I said, me, me and the wife will have to do some talking and uh, get a list of stuff that, you know, that we want to make sure, questions we want to make sure we, we ask and hopefully get the right answers for. But, you know, right now all I can think about is that five and a half months of hell, you know, for both of us, you know. And and my wife's work too, you know, and and none of it should have happened, and that just pisses me off. You know, I try not to cuss in these blogs, you know, so I don't get a spanking and the video taken down. But you know, it it did, you know, it's it's done piss me off. I went into the infusion center today. Um, which I'll talk some more about that. But uh, everything went fine inside there. But they're like, oh, where have you been, you know? And you know, haven't seen you for a while. They probably just thought I was another patient that, you know, died. And yada yada, you know, you come and you go in these places like that. <clears throat> but I talked to them briefly. Um, you know, and I just told them I had to fire my doctor, you know. Uh, they're the ones that caused all this and kept it brief and they wanted to know who my doctor was well I got no problem telling you they all know him down there he's in charge of the, the hospital something I don't know whatever they call that position down there all the all the COVID tests it's his signature on every single one that you know when they had the drive through and it still is, you know. So he's their medical, county medical, um, something or other. You know, so they all know who he is, but, you know, I just was brief and told him, you know, he didn't know what he was doing. You know, that's what my GI told me too. He, you remember back, you know, we talked about the weird monkey face look, you know. And I I got that from the new doctor too, you know. And I kind of got it today in the infusion sitter. Uh, you know, they're just like, really, you know. Yeah, really, you know. He caused all this. He caused it to happen. You know, like they're throwing darts. Seriously, that's how I feel as a patient, you know the football scorecard, you know. I'll take 10 on number five, you know, whatever. But uh, we talked to him a little bit about that, about the phlebotomies. And uh, they are gonna still have to hammer on them for quite some time, I have a feeling. <clears throat> but uh, we talked about trying to get them up here, you know. And he's like, well, yeah, you know. So the, the, the local hospital which I really have zero faith in at all, and I've tried to avoid them at all costs. 
they can at least do the phlebotomy. I mean, come on, that's just a blood draw, you know. And so I could get my blood test done uh, up here and uh, to see where I'm at on the ferritin level and the iron saturation. That's the two that they're watching. And uh, and kick me over, you know. The, he said same, same day, I believe. And uh, just spin it up. Those tests only take, you know, 20, 30 minutes to spin them up and get the results real fast. I've gotten them before I've gotten out of the parking lot at the hospital. but And so he said same day and uh, just go across the street. It's right there and have them, you know, take the 450 milliliters of uh, blood out of me. So if we can get that to happen, we, you know, we will, we will have any reason to travel out of town, hopefully for quite some time. And, uh, you know, the once every three months is guaranteed with the GI. Um, we'll be seeing her in her office over in Medford. And uh, that's the all day long six, six and a half hours of driving, you know, round trip. And But other than that, since I don't need any peritonesis and... I don't have to have a COVID test for anything that they're doing right now. I didn't take one. Um, actually, no, I didn't take one Monday. The only thing I did was a blood draw because I already knew that I didn't need the peritonesis. So yeah, I did even take a COVID test on Monday. I just took the blood, the blood test. You know, so I won't have to do that. And like I said, they're all within five minutes, 10 minutes at tops, you know, um, to get to them. Uh, main drag in my streets, barely, uh, you know, two miles long. I live like dead center pretty much, you know, it doesn't take anything. So that'll be great, man. And uh, we'll have to worry about, you know, the wife trying to schedule at work, missing work. Like this morning, you know, she went and worked a couple, two, three hours, three hours, came home. We had to run down to California for a phlebotomy, you know, and then come back and she went back to work. You know, kind of a pain in the butt, but should be able to stop all that from happening. And we'll kind of go from there, work on a list uh, for the new doctor. I did like him. See, probably around 50-ish, somewhere around there, my guess would be. Um, seemed very knowledgeable and uh, told him what I wanted, you know, a doctor that I could depend on and count on. And uh, wanted a doctor that was something I can't remember now but uh, basically knew what the heck they were doing you know and and to keep keep everything going you know keeping track of everything and uh, lab works make sure nothing's getting out of whack on me and uh, he was very receptive and I think it'll go good but uh, we'll work on that list. Nothing for tomorrow or next week. Well, the appointment with the uh, with the, the hepatologist, hematologist, hepatologist, hematologist. <clears throat> Got the doctor's appointment with him, and it could be the last one. You know, he could just turn me over. This new doctor. Um, usually, what happens? If you don't have raging cancer and stuff like that, that uh, the, hep the hem hematologist will kick those patients over to this new doctor that I saw and let him handle it. It's just kind of the way that they do things. But uh, and so, you know, that, that eliminate a doctor anyways as well, you know. And uh, 
still hurt like hell. He said I shouldn't be in this kind of pain. But, you know, I am in this kind of pain. So, you know, that's something we're going to have to figure out. And, uh, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather not take the op opioids. And if there's another way for, you know, to get rid of this pain. And uh, so I look forward, you know, to uh, his treatment plan, per se, you know, on that. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like f full body pain right now. And, uh, you know, lots of my joints, my muscles. Um, yesterday was fairly good day on the muscle pain. And I only had to take two pain pills um, the entire day. You know, so that was good. Um, but I gotta have something, you know. If you can't magically make the pain go away, I have to have something to manage it to a level where you can stand it, you know. And uh, and he says he's got, you know, he's got something up his sleeve. And uh, the biopsy, uh, I'm sure he'll be right on that because he was curious, you know no biopsy yet and nah but that's about it folks uh and i'd say i'm always going to keep these short but i'm already 22 minutes in but uh nothing planned i know i guess maybe i'll take a blood test on monday i'm not sure the order for the phlebotomy ran out today um, for what he started at. And so it's, he's got to write a new order. But uh, I could probably do it now, just make a phone call. Or I could wait until Thursday um, until I see him again and uh, figure out what we're going to do who's going to actually treat me for this um hemochromatosis and uh get back on to you know getting my iron especially my saturation level down and uh we'll figure that out figure it out over the weekend see what i want to do the order for the blood test is good to go. It's just the phlebotomy part isn't, you know. And uh, they missed me at the infusion sitter. <laughs> like I said earlier, I think, you know. And so I did give them a little bit of a class today. Um, we talked about iron. And... Uh, so they they did learn something. They learned a little bit, and because uh, they don't didn't really know how it works. I mean, they're just the ones sticking you with a needle. They're not doctors or specialists, but they you know they do uh, get interested in their jobs. You'd hope they would, anyways. And so yeah, a couple of short short mini classes uh, in and out of there, maybe fifteen minutes total time. You know, from walking in the door to walking out the door. Weight gains, it's, you know, it did come back up. It, it dropped off quite a bit. Um, once they changed my medication, and it dropped off kind of fast. And uh, that was kind of concerning. I think I might have lied lied to the wife a little bit on that. I actually went down to 145. And uh, yesterday I weighed in at 155. And I did again today, 155. And so I'm not that far off from what my normal body weight really actually is. You know, I did get fat at one time in my life. And, uh, but normally... 175, you know, 
is where I used to normally stay. Yeah, so I, I'm not that far away, really. I just keep trying to eat good. And uh, that comes and goes. Sometimes I just... I just don't feel like eating, you know. It just kind of depends. And me and the wife don't eat the same kinds of food, and you know. And I don't want her to make two different meals, you know, for what you know, one for what she wants and one for what I need, you know. So, but do the best we can there. Uh, man, them subways are still good for me, and uh, that spicy Italian, I can still have that. And uh, the sodium levels under control, and uh, understanding a lot better about how how that all worked, and uh, how bad they were screwing that all up, and all the pain they put me through in the process of doing it. But uh, got a good understanding of that now. And it's kind of like how I explained the ferritin and, and riding the, the bus around, you know, and the bus just not stopping and letting off the ferritin um, where it needed to go. Well, the same thing happens to your sodium. So she had me on... 2,000 milligrams or two grams of sodium per day. And then she would tell me, well, stay on a low sodium diet. And that's where it caused the confusion. I'm like, man, I must be more hillbilly than I thought, you know, because this don't make sense to me. But, uh, and then they tell you to drink lots of water, fluid, um, a lot, they tell you, you know, I, I probably close to a gallon a day for me. Um, I drink Gatorade, but uh, it was explained on what's going on with that high intake of fluid and the sodium piggyback riding around on that with no place to go. I mean, no place to go. <laughs> yeah, so then it sunk in, you know. Which made me mad again. It's like, damn, man, they were just really screwing me over down there at that doctor's, you know. They caused it all. That's all I can. That's all I can say is, you know, you guys caused this, you know. You caused this pain and suffering and and all the other crap that we had to put up with, you know, in the process, and when none of it should have happened. But I understand now in body science. You know, I, I'm learning a lot about how the body actually works and and how the components work together in tandem, you know, and yada yada, and what happens when some are high, some are low. And so, you know, educate myself, which we have to do. Um, we have to be proactive. We have to educate ourselves. We talk to um, the new doctor about that. You know, it's like we're the ones that figured this out, you know. And we don't want to have a doctor where we have to figure out what to tell the doctor to do. Well, just ain't paying you all for that, you know. Really, we're not. And uh, I'm trying to think of that word I used to him. I can't remember. But, uh, you know, we just, we, we got, got our point across anyways, you know. And, uh, it, you know, why should we have to do it? I'd have eight year degree. <laughs> I'd have an eight year degree if that's what I wanted to do, you know, but there's a reason I don't have an eight year degree. But I think he'd be helpful. Um, he has no problem explaining. And, uh, and I really like that about the pain specialist, too, that I saw. Um, really explained it to you. 
in a way that you can understand but not make you not make make it seem like you're stupid you know ignorant is a word i use here in one of these blogs you know ignorance is just not knowing you just you don't know and so you're ignorant you know so yeah you know explain it to me like i'm ignorant you know that's that's a politically acceptable term and ignorance that's exactly what it means you you just don't know you're ignorant of this subject you know i talked about you know him drawing out that great big map thingy on the bed paper and you know and just showing us you know but making us feel like we weren't retarded <laughs> retarded which i guess is isn't acceptable to use but you know that's a, he, he you know that's how he made us feel you're just ignorant of it and let me explain how how opiates work how they're going to affect your body when i'm going to be concerned about the usage and how much and when i'm not and and y'all you know, things to watch for and it was very helpful for both of us you know very helpful and you know i i didn't know that opioids can actually cause pain you know but they can and we were just ignorant of that fact we didn't know that you know we're not opiate users you know and so we didn't know we were ignorant and uh this guy you know he kind of explains it you know to make sure we understand and i think he really liked Doris is uh, the wife. Been trying to keep her name out of it, but it's too late now. But, you know, um, he really liked the uh, binder, you could tell. You know, he flipped through it and, and uh, yada yada. And, oh, wait a minute, let me look at this, you know, type of a deal. And, uh, you know, we just told him if there's anything. You know that you're not finding because some some of these other doctors ain't in the same network, so they don't have the same info. You know, let us know. We have it all. It, it's all in here. Burn all the copies you want. You know, that's what we're here for. And uh, something else I was probably gonna say. Um, God, I remember, but. Uh, Hopefully get get on better track here, especially with the iron. We'll see what happens once the iron saturation level does get to, get to where it needs to be, to where it's going to be helpful, and not harmful. You know, don't want to end up being anemic and laying around like a slug. But uh, I think he'll be most helpful in explaining. And so on the way out, I did sign uh, release forms in, uh, for the, the doctors that are, aren't in the network. And uh, especially the, you know, the primary that I have now or don't have now or whatever, um, I doubt I ever see them again. I mean, makes me feel like smashing their fingers with a sledgehammer. Here, see how that feels. I'm just going to do it every day for a few months, you know. But uh, I'll update next week. I'll probably throw something out. Some Something maybe, you know, just about life. And I don't think we had any spats of sorts. Why she might say different, but, you know, I life's been uh, okay kind of there you know within the four walls um, she did talk about she did talk about being lonely and so that's what brought about me to say well you know I'm doing these blogs and um I just can't get out in words what's going on here. It don't come out here. 
and that's just the way I am. I didn't even speak until the age of six. But, uh, and so the blog, you know, it's there. But, you know, and she, to her, because I don't ever talk, she thinks, you know, that I don't notice all this stuff that she's been doing, you know. And you all know by watching the blogs, I have talked about it. And that's where I, you know, I don't know why it won't come out, but, uh, you know, it comes out that way. But, and so, you know, and I told her, you know, I do, you know, I'm like here, you know, maybe it's time you start watching these, you know, and really I, I get it, you know you're stuck at home, you know, so am I, you know, but, uh, I do get it, you know, and here's the proof, you know, I've already been blogging forever about it, I think this is number 20, I don't know how many weeks I've been doing it, a couple, three months now, but, let her get through all of them, she's only watched, I believe, four of them so far, um, we actually watched them um, together last night, and, uh, you know, hopefully it's made her think, you know, well, he, you know, he just can't get it out for whatever reason there is, he just can't get it out, and uh, not that, you know, that I don't know what you're doing, obviously I see it every day. But, uh, you know, and I've talked about, you know, going out for a dinner or whatever, you know, and I just, I just don't have it in me, you know. She'd prefer probably a couple of times a week, I don't know, you know, but it, I don't know. It doesn't take very much to make me happy, but other people, it takes more. I'll have to think on this, and uh, maybe I'll chat about this some more later, and uh, use you guys for a counselor, <laughs> you know, but... Uh, I think she understands a little bit better just off of what she watched. I hope she'll watch them all. We'll see. Um, she can if she wants to. If she don't want to, she don't have to. Um, I prefer her to watch them, you know. And I just ask her, you know, you don't use them, you know, against me. You know, this is, this is me, you know. Nothing's, you know, don't take stuff bad don't take stuff the wrong way you know because that's not what's going on it's just my my lips won't won't move to the beat of my brain <laughs> you know this is it just doesn't work that way for me but anyways um i'm way past here close to 40 minutes so yeah, I'll do another one. Maybe I'll do one over the weekend. And uh, I'll pick up where I left off here some, you know, about the, the blogs within themselves and, and you know, more how the wife feels and how, you know, how that, how I perceive all that. But uh, anyways... I'm home, I'm going to relax, so uh, I'm out of here, and probably uh, jump on here, like I said, sometime this weekend, um, till then, you guys, uh, you know, the, the donation link's still down there in description, most appreciative of, of the folks that have used that link, um, there's no amount that's too small, and uh, there's no amount that's too big either, <laughs> you know, if I can't use it, trust me, somebody else will. But uh, most appreciative. Um, we thank you for that contributions you've made. And uh, stay healthy. 
keep on track, you know, be proactive in your medical care. And uh, be safe, you guys. Peace out.